Hi, Boomer here, and today I'm going to show you how to inoculate your spawn grain bags. First, you need to make sure that your AC and furnace are turned off to minimize airborne contagions. Also, try to use a room with minimal airflow and closed doors. Next, you will want to sterilize and disinfect all areas. It is very important to keep a very sterile environment. Make sure that you sterilize your gloves, the bag, the syringe, as well as all surfaces around the area that you will be using. Now we need to prepare our grain spawn bags. Look over the bag to check for any damages or holes. Next, I like to give a quick spray of alcohol to make sure that the environment is sterile. It's super important to keep a sterile environment. After that, carefully pull open the sides of the bag to allow the filter to breathe during colonization. Next, you will need to prepare the syringe. Your syringe will have a small cluster of spores. You can see that here on the left. And you will need to shake the syringe to break up and separate the cluster as much as you can. Shake thoroughly. I have had some spores um, in the past that did not break up uh, and they just stayed in a cluster. If that happens, that's okay. We can still um, inject them into our spawn bags and then break up the spawn bags later. Then I like to sterilize the syringe and the needle one more time. Even though the needle comes in a sterile environment, I just like to be sure. After that, get an alcohol wipe and wipe down and sterilize the black injection port, injection port on the spawn bag. Then we're gonna make sure that we thoroughly shake the syringe to make sure that the cluster is completely broken up. Looks like it's breaking up nicely there. There is still a large cluster on the left, but that's okay. And now we're gonna prepare the needle. Next, you're gonna open the needle and unscrew the top. Make sure to keep your syringe up, upright to avoid any spilling. I had some problems with this. Unscrew the top, unscrew the top and then attach the needle to the syringe without touching the needle. Screw and secure tightly. Then get another alcohol wipe and sterilize the syringe completely. Give it one last shake to make sure everything is shaken up and remove the safety cap from the needle. Get a flame and flame the needle, moving the lighter and rotating the needle back and forth. This step is probably not necessary because the needle is already stale, sterile, but again, I like to take all precautions. After you flame the needle, then take an alcohol wipe and rub off any soot that may be there. You're gonna hear a when you put the alcohol wipe to the needle. Next, squirt a few drops from the top of the syringe to make sure that you remove all the soot from the, the needle. Then inject the needle at a slight angle into your spawn bag, making sure not to puncture through the back. Inject your spores into four or five places throughout the spawn bag, trying not to remove the needle from the bag. I ended up using all of my spores in this needle because I wasn't sure of the quality of the spores. Then, after you fully inject all of your spores, carefully remove the needle 
and sterilize the black injection port one more time with an alcohol wipe. Now your spawn bag is ready. Now put your spawn bag into a dark warm place. The optimal temperature for mycelium growth is about 77 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. After your spawn bag is about 20% colonized, break up the bag and reset. This will allow the bag to colonize faster. Then, in about two to four weeks, your spawn bag should be fully colonized and ready to move over to your monotub. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments.